Hello San Diego, thanks for inviting me uh, to speak to you today. My name is Ben Ziv, I'm a student uh, in the Tel Aviv University Film Department. Today it's called uh, the Steve Tisch School for Television and Cinema. Um, this coronavirus, right? It's horrible. So uh, we are all uh, locked in our uh, homes and you don't have much choice rather than hear me speaking to you today, I guess. And uh, I'll try to do it as fluent as I can and as interested as I can. So, um, uh, Paul, uh, Mr. Paul Priority, Priority, sorry, uh, sent me an email uh, and he asked me to speak a little bit about things I've done and I'll try to, uh, to show you some things and hopefully it will be uh, interesting and uh, nice. Okay, so um, the first uh, movie uh, I have directed uh, it was with my partner Daniel Binstead. We co directed it together. It's called The Postman in Underwear. Uh, I believe it screened at your festival uh, at your festival two years two years ago. Uh, it tells the story of an eccentric uh, postman who is falling in love with. Uh, who is falling in love and is afraid to do something and two small uh, kids encourage him uh, to act and, and, and to do something and to stop being shy and um, let's see a couple of minutes of it. <laughs> מה יהיה, יואל? כמה זמן חכה לך? מה? אבל איך? זאת לא שאלה. לא, ממש לא. השאלה האמיתית היא, מה יהיה עם החיים שלך, יואל? אתה לא הולך ונעשה צעיר יותר, אתה יודע. אסון הבולוגי מתקתק. עוד כמה זמן תשאר לבד? בודד? גלמוד? ערירי. קדימה, תתעודד ותתחיל להילחם. תילחם כמו נינג'ה, תילחם כמו אריה. אתה רוצה שאני אתן לך חרב? חרב? הוא לא צריך חרב, הוא צריך אומץ, הוא צריך לא לוותר ולעשות מעשה. אהבה לא באה בקלות, יואל. אהבה היא שיגעון, אהבה היא טירוף. זה נכון, נחווית פעם אחת בכיתה ה', אבל כמו שאני רואה את זה, יש לך עכשיו שתי אופציות. או לקחת את עצמך בידיים, או להישאר בודד כל חייך. אתה בטוח שאתה לא רוצה חרב? לא. אח שלך צודק. תודה. אני, יואל אביגדור, מכריז על אהבתי לשר גבריאל, הבחורה הכי מדהימה, מיוחדת וחכמה. הכי חכמה, ושכל העולם ידע. נ"ב, שר, את אהבת חיי, בחיי. אני עדיין מחכה למכתב שלך. Okay, so this was uh, a glimpse from the postman in underwear. Uh, we filmed it in uh, Jerusalem. Uh, what else can I, uh, can I tell you about the postman in underwear? Um, by the way, I tried to look for an uh, image and uh, maybe video board and uh, uh, some sketches from uh, behind the scenes before we... We got to, to shoot the movie. I'll try to see if I have some things. Um, it was, as I said, our first movie and the first uh, project we did. And it was very exciting. Exciting. Uh, Yoel, uh, the main, uh, the, 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 the main uh, actor, was uh, exactly uh, 
like the postman. I mean, we met him before before we uh, shot the movie and uh, while we were looking for actors. And he was such an eccentric and such a strange guy. We tried to, to speak with him in the coffee shop where, where we met. And we could not change uh, our four uh, sentences uh, without him, you know, being shy or... All of his answer was so uh, so uh, short, you know. How like we met him and he asked, we asked him, "How are you?" And he said, "I'm fine." Uh, so, what do you think? Have you read the the script? I did. It's nice. And okay, so you you like it? You want you want to do it? What do you think? Yeah. So we finished uh, a meeting uh, uh, of about an hour or so with him and we didn't know what to do. I mean, he was, on the one hand, he was exactly, exactly the character we imagined. But on the other hand, uh, it was him on real life. We didn't know if he can manage. Uh, we didn't know what to expect when we were about to meet him on the set. Uh, but uh, for our good uh, luck, uh, it was great, and it was and it was um, very professional. And uh, we met these two uh, fabulous uh, kids, Yuval and Daniel, which are brothers in real life. And um, together, uh, we felt like some magic. And happened over there uh, with the support of all of our crew, all of our friends from from the school. Uh, we had a really terrific um, experience all together uh, with this magic of creating something as a team. That each one of the 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 crew members and giving himself uh, completely. And uh, the set have a great vibes and energy, and uh, you know it was to do a, a film with uh, friends, and it was a great uh, experience for us. Balayla, chalamti shne chalomot. Barishon ani masachet machboim, imifletet anakit. בחלום השני אני פשוט מחכה. אני חושבת שאני עומדת להשתגע. יש מקום. הייתי רוצה למצוא אותו. שם נמצאים 
כל אותם דברים אבודים ונשכחים שאמרו לי אי פעם. ולא לצאת לעולם. Okay, so I would like to tell you a little bit about the project, uh, the, the short film, my graduation project, uh, which I uh, about just about to finish. Um, we shot it uh, three, three months ago in December. Uh, and um, I wrote the script for, uh, for almost two years with my best friend Yuval. Um, it's based on true story that he has um, anyway the movie called the Merhavim in, in English we translated it into empty spaces uh, and it tells the story of Nati uh, which is character based on uh, Yuval my best friend uh, who is going with uh, another tree soldier and Uh, which are uh, uh, basically are uh, bad soldiers they don't want to be there and for them it's a fun day uh, outside of the base uh, they are sending to a memorial to a soldier that uh, passed away and um, and it, and as I said for them it's a fun day uh, um, uh, behind the Uh, sorry uh, um, it's a fun day uh, outside of their uh, base outside of their uh, commanders and uh, far far away from their commanders and uh, for Nati it's a very difficult day because he needs to control them in a way he knows there aren't his soldiers so he There, there is limits for uh, the, the things he can do to them. He needs to be, uh, you know, to put them in their, in their place and to control them. But in a way he needs to not to do it too, too strongly. Uh, so um, for him it's a, it's a very difficult day also. And there is another... Uh, uh, There is another uh, uh, development uh, while they're uh, meeting the family uh, that I don't want to reveal and this at this point um, we succeed to to have uh, to recruit some great actors uh, for the movie um, One of them is Ona Banai, which is very well known actress here in Israel. Um, she's a comedian, so she well known uh, uh, in almost every house in Israel. And uh, we had a great, great main actor. His name is Amit Weinberg. Uh, after we saw about 20 uh, actors for that part, he did it. Uh, so perfectly in the auditions and um, uh, you know it was really challenging to do this movie it's basically the the hardest thing I ever did in my life uh, but eventually we succeed to do it and it was 
a great, great feeling of uh, of victory, you know, of 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 satisfaction. You succeed to do the things you dreamed of. Start, uh, so now I'm really looking forward to to take part in the film festivals. I think, uh, to my humble opinion, that we have a really, really uh, strong uh, uh, movie. Uh, anyway, this is the feedbacks. And um, yeah, this is it. I, I hope I will get the chance to to send you guys uh, the movie uh, next year. Maybe even uh, to visit you uh, in personal. And till then, I hope you guys uh, take really good care. Um, take everything uh, in the right proportions. You know, it's not easy, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, call the people you love. Uh, see nice movies that will make you feel happier. Um, it's a good opportunity to see The Sopranos uh, once again. Uh, it's a good opportunity to see... Uh, um, you know, there are a lot of things to see, so probably you don't need me for that. Um, this is it. Take a good care. Uh, I hope you guys uh, uh, enjoy enjoy it. Sorry for my terrible English. It was probably the most uh, difficult things I've done right after the <laughs> my graduation project. Bye-bye and thank you for the great honor.